guys, welcome back. So I've got a Thanksgiving makeup tutorial for you today and it's on this look that I'm wearing right now. So it's a very kind of like warm eye look, but then it's still light and bright because of that kind of bright metallic shade on the lid. So I really like the way that it came out. You know, I'm calling this a Thanksgiving makeup tutorial because I think it works really well for Thanksgiving, but I think it also works really anytime. I think it's just a pretty warm makeup look and then you've got the really fun plummy lip and just a neutral cheek. So I really like how it all came together. So it can work for Thanksgiving or anytime. Um, and I used my 35O palette from Morphe. So I know that this can be a little bit crazy as far as when it's in stock or when it's back ordered or pre-order or whatever kind of order, it can be just a little bit difficult to get. So if you don't have this palette, you could totally recreate this look with whatever um, comparable shadows that you have in your collection and just follow along with the tutorial, tutorial with a tutorial that way. <laughs> so yeah, this is the look that we're gonna be doing today. So if you wanna see how to get it, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna start by priming my eyes. Today I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now I'm going to take Max Painterly Paint Pot and apply that to the top half of my lids just to cancel out any kind of discoloration there. Now I'm going to take some of this Ulta Color Coat Cream Eyeshadow in Shimmering Topaz and apply that to my lids as my base there. Now I'm going to get my Sedona Lace EB15 brush. I'm going to get a combination of these two colors right here, but any kind of a kind of a warm um, transition color that you have. I cannot say that word. Transition color, transition color that you have in your collection will work. Um, I just like the combination of these two because it's a little bit warm with that kind of camely color, but then also still very neutral with the other one. It's kind of a combo of the two. I'm just going to apply that into my crease and transition area. Now to deepen that up a little bit, I'm going to get this crease brush from Coastal Scents. I'm going to get some of this color down here and I'm going to go over that same section um, and just kind of add a little bit of depth and a little bit more color there, but I'm lightly applying it so that it's not harsh and it's not a lot of it, but it just deepens it up a little bit. You can see the difference in the two eyes. Now I'm gonna take my Delium Tools 781 brush and get some of this kind of chocolatey brown color right here, and I'm going to be applying this into my outer corner and blending that into the crease. You can go over a little bit, but you really want this concentrated on the outer corner. Now you can go in with your blending brush and your crease colors and do a little bit of blending there if you feel like you lost some of that or if you have any harsh lines. Now I'm going to get this cream shade at the top, so any kind of a cream color that you have in your collection. And I'm using an Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow Brush, any kind of brush that you have. And I'm going to apply this as my brow bone highlight. Now for the lid, I think this is the fan favorite in the whole palette. I'm gonna get some of this on, um, it's rubbed off, but I think this is an F70 brush from Sigma. It's their smaller concealer brush. And I'm going to apply this right onto the inner half of my lid. to be more intense and it's showing up with a brush so I'm just going to apply some with my fingers. Oh yeah, that kicks it up a notch. If you see a little mark on my hand, Chester got me. And then I think I have a little scratch mark on my face too where maybe he got me there too. I don't even know but I have a little line that I don't know what it's from. Probably Chester. And you can go back in with your other brushes and other shadows just to do some blending if you feel like you have any kind of harsh lines. I do this a lot, just, you know, it's about building colors, blending into each other, and just kind of going back and forth until you have the kind of seamless transitions. There, I can't say it again. <laughs> seamless 
transitions that you're looking for. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to get some of my Rimmel Scandalized Pencil in brown and line kind of the outer half of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take this NYX Light on Glide on Pencil in golden bronze and apply this to the inner half of my lower lash line and also my waterline. And then I'm going to go over those two colors with a little bit of this color um, using my Sedona Lace EB21 brush. So I'm going to use this on the um, kind of outer half and this color again on the inner half. And then I'm also going to apply a little bit of this color on just kind of the inner corner of my eye just for a little added brightness. And I am using that same brush, I just wiped it off. And then for my upper lash line, I'm going to tight line with my Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner in Perversion and then line my upper lash line with my Physicians Formula Eye Booster and do a little bit of a wing. And now just curl your lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm going to be using the Buxom Lash Mascara in Black is Black. Okay, so here is the finished eye look. So I've already applied foundation, concealer, powder, and bronzer, so I'll list all those down below. So for blush, I'm going to use my Chanel Jersey Blush. Love this and I'm going to use my Delium Tools 960 to apply that. And then for highlight I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. I love this highlight and I'm going to apply it with my Sedona Lace 313 brush. And then for my lips, I'm going to use my NYX Lip Liner in Plum and Bobbi Brown's Creamy Matte Lip Color in Crushed Plum. guys so that wraps up this look and tutorial so I hope that you really enjoyed it please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you're gonna be doing for your makeup on Thanksgiving I always enjoy hearing your thoughts and opinions ask any questions that you have I'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video bye